Hey everybody, Vampire1444 here again, just to do an update of everything I got in July. And there's quite a bit. A couple of DVDs, a few Blu-rays and a couple of books. So we'll start off and we'll go straight to the books. And the first one I got is Eurogothic. Classic of Continental Horror Cinema. And it's a brilliant read. Basically explains about uh, European horror from the early, what, like 1900s all the way to the 90s, I think it is. Uh, all different stuff. And it's a fantastic read. Let's have a look. I think it's right from yeah from 1896 to 1983, and it's a brilliant read. So yeah, glad I got that. Got that from uh, Amazon. To go with that, by the same author, I got English Gothic Classic Horror Cinema from 1897 to 2015. And this is really fantastic. I say it's the same as the other one, but it concentrates on English horror films. And it's a really, really good read. If you like your British horror films, I highly recommend this one. And go from 1897 all the way to 2015. Fantastic book. I just need to get the third one, which is American Gothic, but apparently it's not actually out yet, so I'll have to wait. But now we'll go on to me Blu-rays and DVDs. Now a lot of these I haven't even watched, so a lot of them are still sealed. And the first one, I'll start off with me DVDs. And backwards Bloodbath, Blind Buy, know nothing of it, that's what it says. The Black Hodog, Hodag, never heard of it, but it was three quid, so I thought, why not? The next one, The Axe Murders of Villarissa, again, never actually seen it, but I've read the reviews and quite a few people says it's good, so we will have to see, hopefully watch these in the next couple of days. Next is a non-horror, and I have actually seen this, although I haven't seen the Blu-ray. Uh, I saw it on DVD, and that is Logan. Uh, now, it's a good film, but I thought it went on a little bit too long. And this is the slipcover. And there we go, that's the back. It's the extras. But yeah, it's alright. A good addition to the uh, super, superhero films. Now the next is a TV series that I saw way back in the 90s. And decided to pick it up again and have a look. And that is Dark Skies, the complete series. And it's set in the 60s. And uh, run the Roswell era and the Kennedy assassination. And you find out the aliens were involved with the assassination. It's about them two trying to uncover the what happens. It's a bit like the X Files before the X Files, but it's a really good series, and it is opened because I have watched uh, two or three of the episodes. So really getting back into that. That's a really good one. Next film is brand new. I picked it up today from Asda, which I was surprised they had it. It only cost us seven quid, and that's The Void. Never seen it before, but a lot of people say it's really good. It doesn't use much CGI apparently, but like I say, a few people who have got it have said it's a really good film, so looking forward to that. Next one. Sean Bean in the Frankenstein Chronicles. Now, I saw this when it was on telly and I really enjoyed it. 
to take on Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Uh, basically, he's a detective in the 1800s, and somebody's killing children, and the body parts are washing up, all sewn together. Basically, somebody's trying to bring the dead back to life, and he's got to try and find out who it is. But it's a really, really good series, and thankfully, uh, I heard that they're doing a second series of it, so I'm looking forward to that. If you haven't seen this, I highly recommend it. Really good series. Now this one, oh, I can't actually remember what the title is. I should it's Delirium or something like that. Yeah, but it's, it's in Italian. It's still sealed. It's a Lucio Fulci film. Never seen it before. Don't know nothing about it. So looking forward to seeing that one. Like I said, Guando Alice Luca. Uh, well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Can't speak Italian. <laughs> uh, the next one is Happy Hell Night. Part of the Slasher Classic Collection. Never seen it. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. A uh, few extras. I'm waiting for two more from 88 Films. Uh, Luther the Geek and Virus, a.k.a. Zombie Creeping Flesh, I think it is. They're due to come out soon, so I'll be getting them. Next one I did watch, Madhouse. Really good film. In the eyes. Like I say, really good film, really enjoyed it. 80s film, never seen it before. I'll tell you what it's about, the extras. But yeah, that's a good one. Next one I watched well and I really enjoyed it. Autopsy of Jane Doe. A little bit slow at the beginning but it builds up and it's a really really good film. That's at the back. And obviously Brian Cox who's brilliant. Could have had more extras on like but never mind. But yeah really good film. And then there's this one, Cold Blooded Beast, it's the Italian title, still haven't watched it so I don't know a note about it, it just sounded really good so I got it from 88 films, Klaus Kinski in it, it was always good for a laugh, so yep yeah, need to watch that see what that's about, next one I have watched my soul to take, Wes Craven. Now I know a lot of people don't like it, but I thought it was all right. It was a decent, bit of a teenage horror film, but yeah, it was all right. I mean, the acting was good, storyline's good, not great, but yeah, not too bad. Next other cheap one, still haven't watched, is Demons Never Die, but I believe I have seen it. Somebody's basically killing all them off. Um, so I'll have to eventually get round to watching this, but I'm sure I've seen it. it sounds so familiar. But we shall see. Uh, the next one came yesterday, so I haven't watched it. And that's Dead Heat. They got it in the 88 film sale for... I think about eight pound, and it's the slip cover. This is still sealed. That's the extras. A bit short on extras, like, but never mind. But again, I'm sure. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm positive I've seen this many, many years ago. So I need to watch this again. That's Dead Heat. Uh, the Great Treat Williams. And now the last two I got, I have the steel book of Georgie Romero's Survival of the Dead. Unfortunately he passed away a few, uh, I think it was last week or a few days ago, which is really, really sad. He's, uh, he's the master of the zombie films, although this film pretty much sucks. 
Uh, it's probably the worst of the lot, but I saw it cheap on eBay. Uh, it's a waste of time reading and writing because it's in German, but the film's in English. But like I say, it's a steel book. It was going cheap, I think it was only 10 quid. So I thought, why not? I've got all the others. All I need now is some for somebody to release Dawn of the Dead on Steelbook. And then I'll have the lot of them. But yeah, it's 10 quid, can't go wrong. And lastly, which I was really, really tough to get for cheap, is the Steelbook of Maniac with Elijah Ward. It's this, this is the French edition, but again it's in English. Uh, but the writing on the, obviously on the tin is all in French. And this is probably one of the best remakes ever. It's a fantastic film. And Elijah Wood is absolutely awesome in it. I'd say it's probably better than the original. Um, yeah, this is just such a magnificent film. Really chuffed I got this. Again, I think I think I got it for about 10, 12 quid off eBay. So not too bad. Still sealed. I need to watch it. But yep. Yeah, that's it. That's me haul. So now I'll go back to me beer and go back to the computer. Listen to some great music and play some great games. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Cheerio.